Hello everyone, this is TSA TV CD and welcome to another Katan video here on my channel. So playing the base game, I'm in the first position. So let's take a look at the board. Yeah, not a lot of ore apart from the eight tile. Decent amount of wheat and it's quite spread out throughout the board. Not a lot of sheep either. Your 8, 5, 10 does look good, but then what will I get when it comes back to me? I think 8, 4, 10 will be picked up. 9, 5, 10 is gone. 6, 9, 3 is gone. 8, 3, 4 is picked up. 6, 5, 11 is surely gone. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Maybe I get something like 5, 4, 11. That seems quite strong. I don't, I'm not sure if 5, 4, 11 will be open. Maybe something like 6, 11, 12 is open, but then I'm not too big of a fan of that placement. So if I'm not going for 8, 5, 10, do I go for 9, 5, 10 here? Or maybe I go for 4, 5, I'm not sure. I'm still thinking about 8, 5, 10 because I also have access to the ore port. So even if I get something like 6, 2, which is, I mean, which would be one of the worst case scenarios. But even if I get 6, 2, I can go there. Okay, I'm going to run out of time. So let me just go for this. Yeah, for second play, second position, I think it is a little difficult. I think it was difficult for the first placement as well to decide what to do on this board. Yeah, I was also considering 8, 4, 10 for second, especially with the access to the wood and the brick board. Third year most likely just goes for nine five ten. Grab the best sheep, decent word, and point towards the sheep port maybe. Sorry, towards the wheat port maybe. Or the brick port. I mean, yeah. Let's go for nine five ten. Points to the brick port. I think that is completely fine because. Fourth position here, I mean, third position should be able to get some break. But right now, fourth position might consider something like 834 and 693, which is a very, very strong setup. Gets access to the 3 to 1 port, get access to the over port. Has good wheat and the best ore. Maybe that is one reason why third should not have gone for 9, 4, 9, 5, 10. Yeah, this is exactly what black does here. I think red could have considered 6, 9, 3 as an option. With the assumption that 6, 5, 11 will be open for red. Okay, so now orange goes for 6, 5, 11. I'm not sure what orange is thinking about. 6511 is an obvious choice to me. What do I want to do? Eight three is an option. I don't like it though. Six eleven twelve point up. How about 9, 10, 2, point to the left and then maybe get to the 6, 2 spot. I'm not sure. I mean, here, none of the placements are 
too enticing. I can also start with 6-3, point to the right and then get a settlement on 6-11-12. But do I need to do that? Maybe I just go for 6-11-12 and then give up the over port and then focus on the 3-1 to one port. I mean, orange and black here would be the targets, but they don't share any placement spot. I'm, I'll, let's just focus on a settlement first. Maybe I start with 6, 11, 12. Hopefully I get a, oh, I can buy a dev card soon. Red is the only one who has brick here, but um, I mean, 6-3, I'm still considering 6-3 as an option. Do I actually want to start with 6-2 here? I mean, I did think of it as a choice. 6-2, point up, get a settlement on 5-2, the 3 to 1 port. It's still playable. I think I'll go for it. Might not be the best choice, but it is what it is. Do I hold on to these cards and try and go for the overport? It is surely an option. Yeah, let's do that. Let's take a risk. The thing is black here has one wooden hand, does not have any bricks, has couple of weeds and couple of ores. Okay, actually he had three ores, yeah, maybe because an eight also rolled there, makes sense. I mean, here the nine wheat, okay, blocks the six. Hold the seven, might block the eight or target black. Okay, doesn't even steal from me. I don't mind that at all. Here I will buy a dev card. I get a monopoly. Wow, this is huge. Okay. Yeah, maybe I offer a brick for wheat and a brick for sheep trade. I don't think I want to trade with black at all here. Wow, gets a 1 is to 1 with orange, which is a little scary to be honest. Yeah, there is a lot of wheat available. Do I just go for it? Because a 9 has rolled couple of eights did roll but I don't think so I'll be able to get a road settlement yeah I don't think so it is worth it I'll hold on to my cards orange will most likely make use of all the weed there I'll accept a 1 is to 2 here, but not for two same resources. Might play a knight, which 
okay just does a four is to one gives up all the weed and gets a road settlement okay that two is pretty good so now i need a 10 and a five i don't think so i'll be getting those Yeah, these trades are like not good for the board. And the 8 has been blocked for so long. Yeah, not good, not good. Not getting, no 7s being rolled and orange and black are in a very strong position already i do have a settlement in hand now because the 10 did roll orange plays a knight i mean has to be black exactly I mean, unblocking the 8 for black is also scary at this point, but it is what it is. Yeah, maybe I just play a Monopoly on or. Yeah, red buys a dev card. I don't think red should be buying dev cards. Okay, so if another eight rolls, maybe I will just play a Monopoly on or. Okay, that is not the case. So let me just get my settlement and end my turn. Yeah, orange and black, I mean black will get a city here. Black can buy a couple of dev cards, but I think yeah, black will just go for a city. I mean, I want to target both orange and black, but then there is no easy way to do that. I get a wood, so maybe I can just get a settlement on 5-2. Let's see. Also, I am in black. Red has to. Uh, I was going to say red has to be a dev cards, but they played a knight here. I'm a little worried. Red might have a road builder, which might be quite bad for me. At this point, I am considering just playing a monopoly on sheep. Ele couple of 11s have rolled. Although it will not hurt black at all. So red has at least two. Orange has at least four, five and six, seven. So yeah, there are, there are at least nine or 10 sheep. I'll just go for it. Might be a little early, but then yeah, I get nine sheep there. At this point, I'll just focus on getting a city. 
and in my turn yeah for orange i think the six brick is an easy target should be targeting black yeah still targets black wow i mean black and i have already lost so many dev cards i'll get a word i get an ore wow actually more than happy with it might target me now yeah exactly just because i stole from orange Yeah, I mean, continue to lose these cards. In a way, I am happy because black profits more than I do. Black here has a wheat. I think orange is a target now because orange is going to take army as well. Yeah, let's see. I mean, I'm just trying to get a settlement. I don't want to do a two is to one, but I believe that would be my only choice at this point. Do I want to do a two is to one though? I mean, it clears out my hand. If nothing else, but okay. Orange might secure the. Okay, doesn't play a knight. that plays a knight after rolling the die yeah orange is already on 7 points and i don't think there is any way to slow orange down yeah here i mean a 7 would have been pretty good black losing out on a few cards getting to unblock and how oh, i think maybe eight wheat would be a target stop orange from getting cities Let's see, I mean. Black might get a settlement here. I mean, this does give me a settlement. Let me see if I can get a one is to two. I don't want to give a settlement to black for Yeah, this is unfortunate. At least the rolls are not going in my favor either. These nines are very strong. Maybe I could have considered 9 10 2 in hindsight. I mean, at this point, I don't mind doing a two is to one with red. Yeah, seven would have been a perfect roll there. Okay. Maybe if red has a monopoly, he could play it on wheat. That would be good. It doesn't look like it. I mean, surely the number of nines and fives haven't been equal. Okay, so red accepts it, so I have to accept it as well. Okay, I'll reject it. 
Rīdz vidrē ir vau. Surely at this point we need a 7 to roll just to block orange. I mean I can take road, maybe even orange can take road, just try and connect. Okay, orange is just going for a city here. A 10 did roll, so yeah, it does get a city. Could be on nine points here. Yeah, I would have considered blocking the three just to steal a card, but then this is fine as well. So I need a break. I think black has a break because the six did roll. I get a wheat here, so let's see. Yeah, black is surely not going to do this trade. Okay, black does agree to it. So at least I take the longest road. Okay, luckily I don't have any cards, but then... Yeah. I, it's like I have to roll a seven or else it's game over. Yeah, it is game over now. So that round, I mean, I think red ha also has two VPs because red hasn't done anything. It blocks the six break, uh, doesn't change a lot. Might be able to buy a dev card, just holds on to their cards. What's up with these nines as well? I mean, surely it doesn't seem fair. Like five is such a big role for me, but there have been so few and far in between. Here. I mean, black is basically just trying to take uh, the longest road. I think. For 10 rolls, I just have to build a road there. There is not a lot that I can do. Okay, for five rolls, I think I do the same. Yeah, so five does roll here. Might be a little too late, but better late than never, right? Uh, yeah, orange with nine cards. Wow, holds on to those cards. Isn't even trying to get a, buy a dev card there. It's just focused on getting a city, I believe. But orange is getting lucky. Like the lack of sevens is just hurting the game at this point, I would say. Yeah, it looks like black just gets a settlement. Might build a road. Yeah, it does do that. Yeah, there is absolutely nothing that I can do here. I can just offer this trade and just hoping red can red should accept it. Anyone else and it's no not worth it.
Yeah, I don't think so. Red will accept it. Okay, it does accept it though. Okay, another seven. Maybe this can help extend the game. Continues to block the eight break. Red has to play a knight if red has it here. Am I handing a win to red? I don't think so. Yeah, we need another seven. I can buy a dev card. That is the best I can do. I get a year of plenty, but I think it's wow. Third time orange has lost out on cards here. Should be targeting the nine wheat now. Target red. Yeah. I mean, it is, I think it is clear that orange here has a VP. Their second dev card is a mystery though. Okay, so I think here I can get us, uh, let me try and get a one is to two. I mean, if not, I'll still accept it because it gives me a settlement, puts me on eight points. Yeah, here, I mean, it has to be orange still. I get a sheep, so I can buy, I can buy a settlement and a dev card here. Do I think the dev card is worth it? Or I can... I think it is fine at this point. Okay, I get a road builder. So I can secure the longest road, but... Um, okay. Orange might have a, okay, has a year of plenty. I was worried orange has a monopoly. And yeah, red wins the game there. I think I traded the win to red. I mean, fives rolled eight times. Surely didn't feel like that. Only three tens and those elevens were huge for um, orange and red. Yeah, black and orange were the only people targeted in this game. And the yeah, amount of resource income blocked, 24 and 16. I mean, the eight and six, also seven rolled 12 times doesn't feel like that at all. Actually it was orange who rolled seven a few times in the end and lost out on cards. But, um, I end up in the second position just because I was able to get a settlement there. Yeah, anyway, um, it is what it is. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. I was, I think at 900 and something. Yeah, I'm still at 958. Anyway, uh, bye for now and see you again in the next video. Bye bye.